Is there a common design method that connects the large block pyramids of ancient Egypt to Teotihuacan, Mexico pyramids, and potentially all pyramids around the world? Let's start with a grid pattern that has a radius of one with circles that you can see here forming the shape of a letter T. Now, we are going to also add one other circle, which is going to be one half pi as its radius. And then we're going to connect that circle to integer two position. So it'll be two over one half pi. Now, this might look a little familiar to you because it matches exactly the slope angle of the Great Pyramid, 51.8539 degrees which is two over one half pi. One half pi being the half base and two being the height. Let's see what other ratios can come off of this and what other pyramids could be created. So we now have Khufu. Let's see if we can find Khafre. Khafre would then take the position of four over three for its height versus its one half base. It's famously a three, four, five triangle. So we can check to see if the slope angle turns out 53. to be correct. point one three zero one degrees is exactly the 4 over 3 relationship. So now we have Khufu and Khafre, two of the pyramids on the Giza Plateau, as to why they have the slope angles that they have, following a simple grid. So let's take this to the next level and see if we can find other pyramids that might match this exact same pattern like Menkare Pyramid. Menkare would then take the position of five over four. Five over four yields us a degree angle of 51.34019 degrees. It's famously the slope angle of Menkare Pyramid and this grid pattern yields us the exact same result. But beyond this, what about three over two, which seems to be missing? Is that the Unas pyramid that's supposed to have a 56 degree angle or possibly the Jedefre pyramid in Abu Awash, which is only two and a half miles away from Giza? I believe it's one of the pyramids that is potentially missing along with the 12 over five relationship of the famed philosopher's stone. Abu Awash is two and a half miles away from the Great Pyramid, but sits 90 meters higher than the Giza Plateau. There's another example in Scotland, Cairn, Scotland, built by Queen Victoria herself, and there's one also in Rome. This enigmatic pyramid structure is also a satellite structure just behind what is supposed to be the Jed Efre pyramid that has been long destroyed. So now we have several pyramids on here, Khufu, Unas, potentially Jed Efre, Khafre, Minkare, and the Philosopher's Stone satellite pyramid in Abu Awash. Are there other pyramids that might match this? Well, let's go to Dashur, south, towards the south, from the Giza Plateau. Both pyramids there have a unique angle of 43.3417 degrees, which is an 11 over seven slope to one half base proportion. And we can make that perfectly with this same grid pattern. Now we also will need the lower angle, which is a 14 over 10 base one half base to the height relationship for the Dashur Pyramid, which is known as the Bent Pyramid. So can we actually find this pyramid in this grid pattern, which is supposed to be, this pyramid is long believed to have been a mistake. Uh, the angle was too steep, so they made a different angle for the top. I don't think so. Bent Pyramid is also perfectly matching this. And it's not only that, but also the other enigmatic pyramid the Maydoom Pyramid that has all of its casing stones, but is somehow believed to be uh, unfinished. A Maydoom Pyramid, based on its base, one half base, which is 236 feet and its height of 216 feet, will give us this 47.48 degree angle. Now let's look at the pyramids in Mexico. The Pyramid of the Sun is giving us this unique seven over four relationship, and it also matches perfectly inside this grid pattern. And what about the Pyramid of the Moon? 10 to 17 relationship, and it also matches perfectly within this grid pattern. So wait a minute. We have Khufu, Khafre, Menkare, all the Giza Plateau pyramids, the Dashur pyramids, and now the Mexico pyramids, Maydun, and the Abu Awash pyramids all matching the same grid pattern? 
The pyramids of Egypt and Teotihuacan, Mexico pyramids appear to match the integer grid. How many other pyramids around the world will match this grid pattern?